We're going to have a look at how you create a uh, business page on Google with a location so that the marker appears on the map when uh, you look at search results. So for example, you can see here we've got a, a company called Rain and Horn and there's a, a map pin there. Now if I open up uh, maps.google.com and I go have a look at that particular location, when I uh, do the search, we'll see that there's a, a pin there. And the other thing that happens is that we get a suggestion about where that where that business is as, as people type in search results. This happens in the normal Google as well, not only Google Maps. So I'm going to click on Rain or Jindabyne, and you'll see as we zoom in here, it also results in showing you the actual name of the business. You get to put a logo on there, some um, other information as well. So this here, and you can see there's another couple of companies with um, uh, their locations on. Um, this here enables uh, these pins and that information on the map, and you do that through Google My Business. So you start by going to business.google.com, and then in the bottom right here, uh, you can click on Add, and you'll want to say, I want to add a location, or you can import locations as well. So we're just going to go for Add a Location. And in this particular case, what I'm going to do um, is add a fictitious business at a location of my choice. Okay, so what I'm going to do to start with is um, I'm going to look up uh, the business name and see if Google already has uh, the uh, information that I'm looking for, right? Um, and as you can see here, uh, well, this one's in Canada. That's not the one I'm looking for, actually. So um, I'm going to keep typing the address. And it says, look, I can't find anything. So the next thing I do is I go through and I enter uh, the information that I'm looking for. Now you can see as we uh, get closer to the location that we actually want it uh, to be on, um, the map updates as we go. Now you have to get the full street address right in here. And um, I don't know what it is, so I doesn't really count it. So once you've completed all the information and you've selected a category, uh, click on continue. I don't know what the postcode is, so I'm going to um, just put in a, an example and I'll click on continue. And um, Google will kind of say, well, I don't know where you are particularly. So I'm going to click on set marker location. I'm going to leave that where it is and we're just going to say yes, done. Okay. And um, by adding in this uh, information, what Google's going to do is send us a postcard, right? So it's going to say to do this, verify this information. So I'm going to tick on this. It's going to create a Google Plus page for the business. I'll click on continue. And once uh, it's created that Google page, it's going to uh, show you and say you need to verify it. So what they do is they actually send you a postcard. So I'm going to click on send me that uh, postcard. There it is. I can just put in my name and it'll say attention of me. So when it does arrive, someone will uh, deal with it. And then I'm going to click on send postcard. So that's all done. Now, um, that postcard usually arrives within a week, maybe two weeks. And you can see now that what's going on is this one says not published. This one has uh, nothing against it and it says manage location. So when I get that postcard through, right, this is important. When you get the postcard through, click on manage location. And then at the top here, it says you've requested a postcard 27th of uh, November. Most postcards within uh, arrive within four days. And then when it does arrive, follow the instructions on the postcard. Come back to this page and you'll see a button up here that says uh, uh, enter verification code. Once done, uh, the Google page will get published onto Google Maps and into the Google search results. Good luck.